So now how do we know that job seekers, whenever they see any job, they have to customize their resume so that it fits with the job that they're applying. But do you have any specific tips on how to, they should customize their resume when applying for a job? Well, I've always been of the mindset that you really should have one resume and um, the customization piece is around how you're going to bring it to life in the context of that organization's needs. So um, my tip is um, be really um, specific around what it is that you actually uh, are going to bring to the table. It, it's less about, um, it's becoming less and less for me anyways, personally, about how much experience you have in the context of time served in a job doing a particular task, mm -hmm. but more, what is it that, a quality that you're bringing? Mm -hmm. Are you a problem solver? Is that what you uh, want to, to bring to the table? Are you one that is an idea generator? Are you an entrepreneurial in spirit? It's those qualities that I'm looking more and more for as operative words within the resume to, to highlight. Because, again, the landscape is changing so much that you want to hire for innovators who will look at the current processes and come up with solutions to do it better, uh, rather than the traditional search that I used to do, which is someone who's got 10 years of experience mm -hmm. in recruitment or finance or et cetera. Those are still nice to have, yeah. but um, more and more I'm beginning to see, even from my own uh, personal uh, recruitment strategy, that it's will uh, and then skill. Mm -hmm. uh, so character first, then the skill set. Yeah, it's, the, it's, it's what is the, the unique trait that you're going to bring to the table. Because things are changing so much, I can't hire for a particular skill set. Uh, I'd rather hire for someone who's going to help us continue to improve the organization in light of the ever-changing market. And do you think that the personal values of the person should be aligned 100% with the company's values or it can be 80%? It's a tough one. I think, um, you know, values and mission statements have become such buzzwords. Mm -hmm. It's really hard for me to, with all the organizations that I've worked, um, you, you can only tell what the value of the organization is once you join it because the behaviors are the values of the organization. We might have a goal to mm -hmm. reach to a particular yeah. uh, sort of North Star when it comes to values, but um, I think in reality, if they are an 80% fit with the potential to help us get to that 20%, that's, that's really a, a great hire, in, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for those great tips. And I'm hoping that job seekers will take that when they're applying in their next job. And if any of the people watching or listening have any other tips that will be helpful for job seekers in terms of their customizing their resumes, please leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Nahar.